Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the Siri and Spotlight settings on your Mac OS device. This will allow you to adjust how Siri functions on your Mac and how helpful it is and also how it interacts with you and then also adjust the Spotlight settings to determine what areas of the Mac it will search and how to make it work best for you. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so to go into this menu, all you have to do is go into System Settings. And then on the left hand side here, you'll see Syrian Spotlight. So you don't have to scroll or anything, it'll be right there. Now, we'll start with Siri and then we'll move down to Spotlight as we go. So we'll go through the Siri menus first. And the first thing here is Ask Siri. So this is whether you want to turn Siri on or off. And it says here, Siri helps you get things done just by asking. Dictate a note, check the weather and more. So we can either turn that on or off. So if I turn it off, it'll give me a warning and I can turn that off. And I can also turn it back on and ask if you want to enable it and I can just click enable there. And there's a few options here. So the keyboard shortcut to activate Siri by default is holding uh, command and space at the same time. So if you press it, it will activate Spotlight Search, but if you hold it, it will activate Siri. You can change that to anything you like, or you can customize it completely and choose the keys you would like. Um, so uh, there's a few key combinations you can allow, or you can just put whole command in space. So you can also change the language. So change this to whatever best suits um, where you are in the world. So for me, it's English Australia. You can change the voice, so by default it's Australian voice Hi, too. I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. And there's a few different voices you can choose. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. So there's some options there. Voice one is the male and voice two is the female for Australian. And you can also then Hi, I'm Siri. Um, change Hi, this I'm Siri. between choose the voice all you'd like me to use. of the um different countries here Hi, so we get out of choose there the like getting a little bit annoying there but you can see that changes the voice and then in terms of siri history you can delete all siri and dictation history at once if you want to and it says siri and dictation interactions currently associated with this mac will be deleted from apple servers so if you are worried about privacy you can delete that straight away and then you can also see siri suggestions and privacy and how this interacts with all the different apps. So essentially, you can turn off individual apps um, from using Siri if you don't want them there. You can learn more about privacy um, in this menu as well by clicking about Siri and privacy. And you can also adjust Siri responses. So you can turn on or off voice feedback, always show Siri captions, and always show speech. So there's some different options there for Siri. All right, so that about wraps us up for the Siri section. So now we can scroll down and move on to the Spotlight section. And it says here, Spotlight helps you quickly find things on your computer and shows suggestions from the internet, music, app store, movie session times, locations nearby, and more. So, for example, we all know what Spotlight is. You can click Command and Space to open it up, or you can click the little Spotlight icon in the menu bar, and then we can just type something here um, to search it and you can go through all these different um, search results and you can find more about a certain place or um, different files on your computer or all that sort of stuff. Now this was greatly improved in Mac OS Ventura so it's much faster and also is much smarter so it can search individual photos and things like that which is really handy. Um, so these are the settings you can adjust for it. So these are the search results so you can only um, select certain applications to um, show up in Spotlight. So by default, everything's turned on. But for example, if you don't want um, things like images showing up in Spotlight, you can just untick that and they won't show up. Or documents or things like conversations with people just for privacy reasons, you can turn those off and they will not show up in your Spotlight search when you search. So that's really handy. 
Um, so you can adjust that how you like. And then at the bottom, you've got Spotlight Privacy. So what this will do is you can add a certain location on your computer to not have it show up in Spotlight. So exclude them from your Spotlight results. So if we click the plus button here, what we can do is choose a specific folder or directory to not show up in Spotlight Search. So I could decide that I don't want the desktop to show up in Spotlight Search results. I can click that and now that will not show up in Spotlight Search. So that's really handy. And if you want to remove any of these so that they'll show back up in Spotlight, you can just click it and click the minus button and it will remove it. So yeah, that's about it for the Siri and Spotlight search settings on your macOS device. It's a pretty simple process, so hopefully this was helpful and gave you some good success in adjusting this to your liking to work best for you. Please let me know in the comments below if there's any video suggestions you have for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.